Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Well, this is about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive knees into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxing the high level yeah. from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. All right, well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Both fighters identical in age, with similar height and some differences in reach. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 211 pounds. Assassin! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 218 pounds. The Nightman! You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. So two truly elite strikers here. We sat down with them on Thursday and asked them, any thoughts of taking this fight to the ground? They want to strike. They want to strike. That's what got them to the show. That is the path that they are normally on. And tonight they get someone that allows them to fight in their comfort zone. They don't have to worry about the many takedowns. All they have to worry about is who can rely on their knowledge and the striking to carry them to victory. And they separate. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Look at the turtle in that kick. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Well, that kick landed the body beautifully placed right underneath that elbow. Let's see if he makes the adjustments now defensively to avoid opening up that midsection to further damage by that kick. Just missed with the left there. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. And there comes the separation now. 
Jeez Louise. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Lunges forward with a left there. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Good combination of strikes there. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Oh, I love the jab. I know you love the jab. That was a nice one. It's my favorite punch in all the fights. Oh, nice jab. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. All right, so he lands a jab there. Pretty nicely done, DC. You can really control a fight just knowing how to fight behind your jab. Oh. Oh, big left hook there. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Look at the flip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Back and forth we go. Nice punch here. Just out of range with that right hook. Educated jab there. I could watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, it comes right back to his face. Body shot there. Slips to avoid that left. Look at him drive his shin into his own body with that body. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. Now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. All right, here we go with our next round, DC. Pretty good game plan in the previous round. Attack the body to great effect, and we'll look to continue to do so here. He has done a great job of making the investment. The investment to the body that may not pay dividends early, but as the fight goes long, you will see it start to pay itself off. Big call for punch man. I would get back to range. What a tricky head kick. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block a shot that's incoming. Beautiful kick. And he landed the right hand there. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to his fully. He throws his jab. He may blow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Oh, nice right hand. Oh! Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Oh! Man, doesn't take a lot of these kicks to produce redness. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. Great punch landing with so much power. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting go. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. There's the elbow. Ooh. Oh, man, this guy kicks like a mule. There's another power take down. Hey. Takedown. It wasn't for any lack of effort, but finally that shot was good enough to get his opponent down. I don't know how many times John. Oh man, notice how he's walking. Nicely done. A 
lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. 30 seconds remain in the round. 20 seconds to go. Gets up again here, but hurting. Ooh. Oh! There's the end of the round. Few things in MMA more devastating than a head kick and nearly produced a knockout for him there. We talked to him earlier in the week and he talked about chances to take the kicks high. He got a chance, he took it, he landed that kick and almost got the fight finished. Let's see if he can go and do that again. All right, next round is now underway. Previous round, not necessarily a tough act to follow. Pretty good, not great. Pretty good round, but not the best round. Sometimes that's what you get. Yeah. Oh! Huge right hand! Beautiful diving strike lands. Well, not good body language from his opponent here, DC. He's curled up. No, he's exhausted. He's been beaten. Oh, a huge block there. And he's back up again. So the takedowns have been there, as have the get-ups. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Remaining active here in his pursuit of the submission. Another attempt here. Oh, wow. Oh! He's got to push the arm down, maybe stepping into a crucifix. Wow, you don't see that very often. Oh, he's in trouble here. Wow. Oh, right in the mouth. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is the opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing the opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this. Face to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Oh, he's really starting to apply. Whoa! Back to the feet. Oh! Big head kick lands. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Over and over, he landed a big body kick. Oh, collar tie. Big punch land. Ooh. Oh, he gets tagged again. Nice combination. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Oh, and that kick is blocked. High-level stuff as he cowers with that right hand. Look at that. It's over. It's over. He's done. He's done. I'm not sure if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout, and that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so a big, big win for him here tonight. And there he is, all smiles. What a huge knockout he turned in here tonight. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, six seconds of the third round. Playing the winner by knockout, the Knight.